What's up guys, Fuji here and I welcome you back to another episode of Build of the Week. But before we start, if you are looking to purchase any ultimate team coins, make sure to check out official utcoinsaw.com. All links will be in the description below and on checkout, use the code what is it today? Uh, it's coins for an extra £3 off every 300 k plus order. Very cheap, very fast and reliable. Lads, go check them out. But today we picked up Mike Williamson. He did receive himself an inform and rightly so. He's had three really solid games for Newcastle and yeah, he's been performing him very, very well. Real, real rock in their defence. But what I'm going to do now is show you the team which I built around him. It's an England team. Give me one second. Right, guys, this is a team which I built around him in form of John Terry, Joe Hart. But Joe Hart's been the, well, he hasn't been playing at all now because of the bloopers and the mistakes that he's been making. Do go check it out on YouTube. Some of them are really, really funny. But yeah, we've got uh, Sturridge up front, in form Lalana, uh, like I said, John Terry, and even Sammy Amiobi in there. It's a team that there are a few players which I haven't tried before, and I really wanted to try them. And it's an England team, and that's something that I haven't built. So what we're going to do, it's going to be hard with the three at the back, especially with uh, Mike Williamson and John Terry's pace, but we're going to move into that game, that live game. Let's do this. Right, guys, we're going into a game now. Who have we come up against? Uh, Silver Seeker. Oh, are we really going to play him? Does he want to play? It's bad, uh, bad, but oh no, we've got the three green bars where if he wants to play, we can play. All right, we're going. He's got bad chemistry. I mean, that's pretty good for us. Uh, hopefully it will be an easy win and it give us an opportunity just to test out a few of the players and well he's got some nice threats in the team he's got uh, is that Bogovic who's that who's that goalkeeper from B Bolton the really ginger one Bogdan that's his name oh play him through now no 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 just bang it first oh wow if he scores this is absolute bullshit oh my god he actually has what the f let me have a bite of my cheese twist Oh, what a beautiful ball to Lalana. No, how the fuck? Oh, what a beautiful ball. Come on, Sammy Amiobi. Amiobi, what the hell? Let me, oh my God, my own. Oh shit, it's in play. Damn, my own player was in the way. Oh, what a ball through to Lalana. If we can just open a bit of space. What? That pace though, that pace though. Oh, go on. No, why are you taking such heavy touches, dude? What? How is that even possible? That is not even right. No wonder why I can't score. There's some force field going on over here. What a shit half. I'm honestly, it's been one of the most frustrating games I've played for a long time. I don't seem, I don't seem to be able to get my shots on target. It doesn't matter what position I'm in, whether or not I'm through. Look at this, seven shots, three on target. Oh my god, it's the fucking touches! Go on. He's made a mistake, and that was such a poor touch, but can we finish it? No, we can't. Can we head it in? No! Oh my god, no! No, please! <gasps> Go! Oh my god, that pace though! That pace though! Right, can we please just easy goal? Thank you! Get a bit of momentum with me. I bet you I will score another one. I will bet. I bet you I will score another one consecutively. No, I didn't. Why not? That pace. The pace. He can't. He can't help it. It's too much pace. Sturridge with a finesse, and it's in the back of the net. There we go. Two one. Way up. And he's made another mistake. Sturridge doesn't even need to take a touch because it's already in the back of the net. Beautiful play. I mean, what more do you want from Sturridge? He's actually very, very good. I only used him at the start, and I wasn't playing that well because I was getting sort of used to the game. But playing him in this team, he's very, very good. Beautiful play. This is gorgeous. And Sturridge is through again. He's going to bring out his goalkeeper. No, I was going to go for the chip. It didn't need to. Wow. Beautiful. It's just easy. One, two, one, two. Get off me, bro. It's Daniel Sturridge. What are you doing? Lovely finish from him. He's got himself five goals, I think, in this game. I think he's the only one that's been scoring. So, yeah, five. Oh, sorry. Right, guys, full time did come around and it did finish 5 1. He was a pretty good player, actually. I'm not going to lie. It was very tough in the first half. He was really, really pushing. And I was actually finding it quite difficult to uh, build up my passes and that. But then, as soon as I got that first goal, it really did open sort of the floodgates. And I just went pounding. And Daniel Sturridge managed to bag himself five goals in one game, which is absolutely crazy. If you haven't tried him before, uh, I suggest you go and put him into it. Maybe even build this team, you know. You don't have to include all the informers. Maybe switch it 
up a little bit. But yeah, the 3-5-2 formation played quite well for me. And what I am going to do is jump back into the team and give you sort of a mini review on how Mike Williamson played. See you guys in one second. Right, guys, just before we start the uh, little mini review on Mike Williamson, I just want to show you how many players got uh, injured in that game. Three players. Is that even realistic? I do not know. But what we're going to do is speak a little bit about Mike Williamson and the way he played for me. Now, before I start, I wouldn't advise playing him uh, on the left in 3-5-2, uh, sort of in that role where John Terry is playing. And just before I talk about Mike Williamson, John Terry is a very solid centre-back. He really did surprise me. I highly recommend him. But yeah, 59 pace, it felt a lot faster in-game, although my opponent really wasn't taking advantage of that. He was just sort of uh, trying to ping-pong past it. If he really did run down the line, I don't think Mike Williamson would have caught him up. But his tackles are very, very strong. He's a strong player anyway, and he stands at height 6 foot 4, so his heading ability is going to be crazy good. And yeah, though all the uh, three centre-backs actually played very well, and they kept their position. Really did uh, like the team. Um, one thing I would say is I didn't really like Lalana. I'm going to put it out there. I didn't like Lalana. He was through on goal a couple of times and did let me down. Saha didn't really get into the game that much. Uh, I should have probably brought him in a little bit more. I think he would play better in a, in a right wing position. But lads, that is the team. That was the mini review. Uh, if you've got any questions, do leave it in the comment section below. What? But what I am going to do is give away Mike Williamson to one of you lucky viewers. Now, all you've got to do is leave it in the comment section below. Uh, just uh, which player would you like me to build a team around in this week's Team of the Week? So we've done Mike Williamson. I did sort of a silver slash gold team because people were asking for that, but I'm wanting to do a gold, uh, full gold team now. We've got some nice players in there. Second in form Suarez, second in form Ibrahimovic, if I can afford him, and, uh, and Ribéry. That is just a crazy Team of the Week. So do let me know in the comment section below. And if you can leave a like and show your support, it's ever so much appreciated. And if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button for daily food 14 content. Take it easy, lads. I've been your boy, Fuji720P, and I'll catch you tomorrow. Peas, unless you want, um, unless you want a pack opening, because I did a pack opening. If you want to see a pack opening, make sure to get this over 250 likes before 6 p.m. Take it easy, lads. Love you. Peace.